wow, that's mighty. Fans are one of the basic ways to cool down devices, systems, rooms and you. They've been around for ages and today Sanon, after many years on the market, has built a very impressive offer of fans and blowers. AC and DC powered with sleeve, ball, vapor bearing and PWM control. What does it all mean? Let's dig in. Sunon offers both axial and centrifugal fans. I understand if that's the first time you're hearing those names. The centrifugal fan is more often called the blower. It operates by redirecting air from the side and concentrating it in the outlet perpendicular to the intake. Very popular in laptops where the cooling solution must stay thin. The axial fan is simply referred to as a fan and it just moves air along one axis. The first thing to consider is the size of the fan. The typical sizes are 40, 60, 75, 80, 92, 120, 140 and even bigger. The size is usually determined by an enclosure or heatsink that it will be attached to. But you need to remember that the bigger the wings, the quieter its operation, because it needs less power and speed to move the same amount of air. But what if you need a smaller fan? No even smaller. Even smaller. This is Mighty Mini, the world's smallest fan, designed to fit where others can't. Despite the size, they are still mighty, as the name would suggest. Fans and blowers are available in sizes starting at just 8 by 8 by 3 mm, perfect for cooling mobile devices, often used in medical and automotive applications. You also need to choose the provided power. With Sunon's offer you can easily find a fan either powered by AC or DC. With AC you don't need to worry about any special power supplies, you can plug them straight to mains. The convenience comes with a bit lower power efficiency. DC assures good efficiency and long life with lower noise levels. But here you need to pay attention to the correct DC voltage. Available are 5, 12, 24, 36 and 48 volts. For the best of both worlds solution reach for EC. And no, it's not a new type of current. EC stands for electronically commutated and in simple words is a DC brushless motor with an integrated power supply with control. It saves space, it's convenient in every way and will operate for a long time. 10 out of 10, would recommend. For reducing the noise, increasing lifespan and lowering your electrical bill, you can control your fan. Because systems might not need full cooling power at all the time, you can reduce the speed and get some comfort. There are two main ways of doing so. One is decreasing the voltage. According to Ohm's law, the lower the voltage, the less current goes through. But there are limitations. The fan's driver needs a minimal voltage to work efficiently. The much better option is PWM, pulse width modulation. It allows for much smoother control in a wider range. I don't have enough time to explain precisely how it works. To keep it simple, by turning the fan on and off thousands of times a second, we can slow it down while keeping the voltage at a recommended level. PWM fans have a 4-pin connector. That's how you can easily tell them from a regular one. The other variants are 2 and 3-pin. The latter has a third wire used to monitor fan RPM and detect the locked impeller. If you don't want to change the speed by yourself, you can choose from various pre-configured speeds marked here in the model number. Even though fans in general have one task to move air, they can perform this job in two rather different ways. First is the high airflow, which means that a fan moves a big volume of air in a short time. If there is something on the way that the fan needs to push the air through, you need higher static pressure. So is it one way or another? Basically, yes. The airflow, measured in either cubic feet per minute or cubic meters per hour, is higher when the fan is not obstructed by anything like a radiator or air filters. Then it can accelerate more volume in a free air condition. 
The link between airflow and static pressure is constant. The higher the system resistance will be, the less airflow will be delivered. But with a mounted heatsink, you need higher pressure. Pay attention to how your system is configured and choose the fan that will be the most suitable and efficient. When it comes to mounting multiple fans, there are two ways, parallel and serious. Both have their applications. Take a look at those graphs. Fans mounted in parallel will have much higher airflow. For maximum static pressure, it's better to mount them in series. So, depending on the device, enclosure, application in general, you can focus on one of those characteristics. To make it easier, you can use filters on our website, tme.eu. Because the fans are designed to be in a constant motion for an extended time, you should pay attention to bearings. After all, those are what determine a fan's life. The two most common are sleeve and ball bearing. The first one is considered the most economical solution. It's also quiet, at least at the beginning. Because the contact between moving parts, the shaft and a sleeve is relatively large, it's more vulnerable to wear after time due to, for example, lubrication loss. This can happen in temperatures exceeding 70 centigrade or 150 Fahrenheit when the lubricant simply evaporates. Therefore, it should not be mounted in devices that can be damaged due to the sudden failure of a cooling fan. Also, sleeve bearing type fans should only be mounted vertically to avoid lubricant leaks. For a longer lifespan, you can get a more expensive ball bearing. By using metal balls rolling between two rings, you can get a more durable and reliable solution that can be mounted in any direction without affecting performance. They are sealed, so as a dust and waterproof fans can be used in more demanding conditions. But this thing might get loud after a while. For a long lifetime, quiet operation even after thousands of work hours and the low cost, you can go with vapor bearings. Sunon's original solution. By integrating innovative maglev technology to create a magnetic cushion, the total friction is reduced. Vapor bearings offer an amazing lifetime and much better shock handling, so are a good option for devices that are exposed to being dropped or hit. Also, can withstand high RPM and are good for high CFM. Because vapor bearings are Improved sleeve bearings, they still have orientation requirements, cannot be placed horizontally, blowing the air up. Also, because of IP21, avoid exposing it to harsh conditions. Why to choose Sunon? With just one incredibly experienced manufacturer, you get all the fans and blowers you need. The wide offer giving you the choice right for your application. Sunon is not afraid to break the limits, as they proved with the Mighty Mini series. So keep an eye out for upcoming releases. Maybe you too will become a huge Sunon fan. Nie, nie granic. Przepraszam. No i się czerwony zrobiłem bez ciebie. Widać go? Because the fans are designed to be in constant motion for a longer lifespan, up to 50% no, longer. Dobra, for a longer lifespan, up to 50% no, longer. 